YouTube, it's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode in my Road to Rip series. This time I want to talk about supplementation, what supplements I'm using. Now, first of all, let me say that because I'm sponsored, I have access to a lot of supplements, I'm using quite a few. But I'm just going to talk about the ones that I would recommend to someone considering a physique transformation process or going into a competition. Now these aren't all necessary. First thing I would say is get your training and nutrition on track before you even look at supplementation. That being said, you may find these supplements helpful, especially when you get down to a lower body fat percentage and you want to make those final changes, fine tune your physique. I'm going to be uploading this video probably after the competition is already done. It's already peak week, loading up on water, a little bit depleted in my carbohydrates, but it's a crazy time right now. I'm not going to get to uploading these videos probably until the contest is already finished. I'll also be making a video discussing peak week coming up soon, so watch for that. So let's get right into it. First of all, before training, pre-workout and first thing in the morning, usually before my HIIT training, I like to take caffeine and synephrine. Some people will go for caffeine ephedrine. There's a lot of debates on the safety of ephedrine. Uh, synephrine may be a little easier on your system. Stacked with caffeine does help promote thermogenesis or fat loss and it does give you a little bit of kick for your workout. It helps to improve training intensity. Next up, creatine. I'm using creatine HCL. There's a lot of research to demonstrate the effectiveness of creatine for promoting strength and increasing lean muscle tissue. I'm using this to maintain as much muscle as possible during my cut. I'm going to be using this creatine right through the competition, right even to the day of the contest. A lot of people are afraid of water retention from creatine, especially creatine HCL, very bioavailable. There's not going to be any bloating or water retention. In fact, creatine helps promote water intracellular, intramuscular water retention, so it'll help keep your muscles full looking um, as opposed to flattening out, looking dehydrated on stage. So don't worry at all about taking creatine right through your whole contest prep, and if you are concerned at all, check out HCL, much more bioavailable, like I said, a lot less risk of water retention, extracellular water retention. Citrulline Mali. Now, not a necessity, but I do like this for improving recovery and improving uh, its nitrous oxide, improving your vasodilation or your pump during a workout. So I do find that that helps me recover, and I do like the aesthetic pump for my training sessions with the citrulline, something I would use pre-workout as well. Green tea, or green tea extract, EGCG. I take this before my carbohydrate meals. It does improve insulin sensitivity. It may help improve fat loss as well, but the main reason I use it is to improve nutrient partitioning or help get that shuttle those carbohydrates I do eat into glycogen storage. Uh, so I take that with my, with my carb meals. Now, as far as post-workout, uh, I do take a greens supplement. If you're eating enough greens and vegetables in your diet, may not be necessary. I do like to, to make sure I'm getting all of my micronutrition, so that is something I do recommend. And then uh, a protein powder. Whey protein isolate is fine. I do like to go to a vegan source of protein if I am taking a protein supplement during peak week or the last couple of weeks leading up to a competition because some people do have some sensitivities to dairy and they may find they get a little gassy or bloated from taking a whey protein or a milk protein protein powder. So I find this is very easy on my gut and uh, very easily digested and it's still a complete protein source. So that's what I'm using right now. These are some supplements I recommend looking into. I'll post a link down below to my uh, video about what supplements are worth taking. There are some links there to some websites that suggest you check out that look at the research behind these supplements. And you can make your own educated decision after watching that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a like. Until next time, stay strong.